Hey guys, so we got yet another gold master icon in the 94 Mike Richter. It looks like they're releasing a little bit of a, a smaller bunch as we already got the 94 uh, Marcus Nasland and now we've got the new Mike Richter. And looking at the other cards that are released, it looks like it's another five New York Rangers alumni. I kind of like this idea. Obviously, they're going to have to release some of them faster as, uh, you know, there's 64 of them. So I doubt they do once a week or one every few days. I, I expect a big batch to come. But let's take a look at this Mike Richter. Richter and see, uh, you know, if he's worth it. So let's take a look and see if it is worth going after him. So in the icon sets here, uh, there are two now. There is the Marcus Nasland and now the Mike Richter set. So <clears throat> he instantly becomes uh, one of the highest rated goaltenders in the game at 94, and it will require a Mike Richter card and then 12 uh, icon collectible. So let's just take a look real quick and see what he's going for. This is on PlayStation, obviously. Uh, and we're looking at 120, 130, yeah, about 120. So you've got to factor that into the price. So if he's going for 120k right there, and then we go search the auction house for, for icon collectibles. All right, there's two. So you're looking at about 45,000. So if we do some quick math here, if you do not have the Richter card, he's going for about 120k. All right, so you times that, <clears throat> you times 45,000, you need 12, that's 540 plus the 120. So right now, guys, it's costing about 660,000. Now, he's the highest rated goalie in the game, sure. 94 overall, that's fantastic. Let's go take a look at his stats real quick and see if, uh, you know, if he's worth it or not because that's a lot of investment. Um, 660k for a goaltender. Holy smokes. Um, but you never know. Uh, some people might like him. Plus, a lot of people, a lot of guys that, you know, do it or that, that have been playing the game a while, you have a lot of untradeable icons probably. So it probably won't cost you 12 as you've already got a few. So the important ones. Notice how his aggression is 79. He's an 84. So either EA is catching on that lower aggression goaltenders are the way to go or, uh, you know, I'm not really sure as to why, but he's 5'11", so he's very short for a goaltender that you would want, uh, you know, that you would normally use. Does come with 1 SP, 2 to FB, 1 to 1 T, which are good synergies. And then his glove high is 93, his positioning is 95, and aggression is 79. If we were going off of the important stats, take away his size, he's a very, very good goaltender because the glove high, positioning, and aggression, in my opinion, are the three most important stats. Other than that, uh, glove low, 93, stick low, and stick high are also important as that's going to be your right hand uh, side, so essentially the opposite of the glove, uh, your stick high side stats. Speed not being 95 as well, um, and, and shot recovery being 95, meaning those are how you get those insane rebound saves. So he is definitely going to be up there, and when you combine the fact that you know, we're still in, we're not at the end game as far as shooting stats go. So, um, you know, there isn't 99 shots. So having this guy right now might not be terrible. Do I think he's worth 660,000? No. What I would do if you're looking to get him or try him out is wait for him to drop. He should drop in price, you know, to under, I would think, 100K at least. Save yourself some coins. And don't forget, guys, when you're doing these, you can trade in 50 gold players to get the icon collectible if you do want to make them. So I thought I would throw, you know, my kind of two cents in there in regards to him. Uh, I would wait for, you know, a better one. Never You never want to waste a ton of coins on a goaltender. But if you already have the 94 might, or the 85 Mike Richter and he's untradeable, like you just got him early on, maybe you did one of the uh, the sets. And to be honest, that's probably what I would do at this point. I would just do uh, an icon set. I would do uh, the one, the 85 choice. You know, you spend an icon collectible and you get a shot at him. But you might also get a shot at the Nasland or a Neuendijk, or one of the other cards that will eventually, it looks like, be the gold master set item. Instead of spending, you know, the 100k on actually getting the card, want to take a risk first, and maybe you get them for cheap, because it'd be half that price, um, and a lot of you will have on tradable guys. So let me know what you think in the comments section down below, but I thought I would get a video out there just going over my thoughts on it, because I know it's going to impact the market every time one of these is released. And uh, yeah, guys, um, I also want to mention real quick, the 95 Barkov is out. That's a fantastic card. Any of the Barkovs at this point are really good, just because he's so big. Um, so keep an eye out for that one. All right, guys, have a good one.